Hello friends, first of all I will introduce to introduce myself. My name is Nikhil. Today's date is 13th of September 2022. Uh, today's topic name is uh, base 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 condition in recursion and stack overflow in recursion. Then we will see one by one what is base condition and what is uh, stack overflow. First we will see what is stack overflow. In Java, when we are calling one method, uh, one method in uh, one method in main method, it is allocated in stack. For example, I am calling in main print method, and in print method I am uh, writing sysout high. First, what will happen? Compiler JVM will come to main method. So main method will first bit get loaded in stack area. One thread is created, which will execute. <coughs> To execute, uh, to execute main method, main me in that means that thread will form that the in main method of one print method is called so that in main, uh, in stack uh, and the print method will uh, print me method will be uh, up upside of main method mean it will be one uh, first main method and above of that there will be print method. Then after the thread will go to print method, then it will complete the task of printing sysout high, then its task is over. So now the, uh, the this this arrangement of first main method and that above uh, uh, yeah, and above of that print method, it is known as stack allocation. Mean push push uh, process is done here. After the execution of print method, pop pop process will done. Means after the uh, printing of high, the uh, printing of high, uh, the print method will be removed and the thread will be removed. And the second, the uh, and after that flow of again can come to main method. If main method has again some task, then it will do, uh, or it will also delete main method also from it. So now the stack will become free. Then if the <coughs> if you are calling main uh, print method in print method, there is no condition. So main uh, in stack, what will happen? Main method in above that in a, above that print method in above that in above that print method. This stack is created by print 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 print, and at the point when up to whenever the uh, up to when up, up to whenever the stack is not full, it will print high. It once the stack stack is full it will show error overflow stack overflow means the memory is full and only allocation of mem mem allocation of push all allocation of stack is there means only push is happening there no pop is happening there so only push 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 uh, means only print 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 the uh, stack is stack will get full because the we are not operating pop operation in stack this is what st stack overflow is. Then second point is base condition. If we apply one base condition uh, to that print method, I will what I will do. I will pass one uh, integer value to that argument to print method that is zero. I the, in that I will write condition if uh, if zero is if n is less if n is less than Five and I will increment that value n and then pass to next print method. In this case, what will happen? Six print method different print methods will created in the stack above the main method. Means after the last execution of print method, uh, after the last execution of print method, the flow of control get reversed. Means now the pop operation will start. Will, the pop operation will start will executing. For example, pop uh, last. Last print method printed high, then that uh, last print method will get uh, removed from the stack. Then, then la second last is print five. Second la last element, uh, second last method is print. So that, uh, so that the print will be executed and that will be removed. This how all print method are removed and, and print methods will be removed and and the stock stack, the stack get free. This is all from my side. Thank you.